Welcome to my Christmas book haul. AKA, these are all the books I got for Christmas because I asked only for books. Books! Books! A whole lot of books. I'm not doing the books thing. So it's not Christmas anymore. I'm a little late to the game. But, you know, we're just gonna talk about the books I got for Christmas. But without further ado, I cannot say that. Let's get right into the video. Okay, I'm gonna sh really show off that I'm a TikToker. Ready? Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer. I got Instant Karma in my um, Secret Santa from my studio. And I'm very excited. Now this book is about a girl who works really hard. She's kind of an overachiever. And she doesn't like the lazy people of her town. Something like that. So one night she gets powers that she can she can cast instant karma on people i guess on those around her so yeah she obviously she meets a boy working at this rescue center and i she learns some stuff i guess she learns that the world is just not hard workers and lazy people i'm guessing i don't know we'll see next transition let's go Kingdom of the Weekend by Carrie Maniscalco. Now this book I got for myself to myself because I really wanted to read it and I also got it for my best friend so we could both read it at the same time. Also, look how pretty that is. It's all the seven houses, the seven circles. Yeah, each house or circle because they say house. So each house is after one sin. And I know it's about a girl and her sister gets murdered and she meets up with one of the sins, Wrath, and they probably fall in love even though they hate each other. So it's an enemies to lovers. Oh no, I really need to read this book now. I should not have read that. No, I need to read it. Editions. Another Carrie Maniscalco book. I'm ho I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is the second book in Stalking Jack the Ripper. And this got sent to me by Sally Jen Kula. And she said, happy holidays, enjoy and stay safe. And I will enjoy and I will stay safe. And up next. The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare. Now I have most of her books. Well, now I have most of her books. You'll see. So I was very happy with this one because I really want to hit all the Cassandra Clare books like in February, so I can catch up before Chain of Iron comes out. This one was sent to me by Julianne Davenport. I love that name. She says, I hope you enjoyed the book. So glad I was able to gift this to you. You have so many good books on your wish list. Happy holidays from Julianne Davenport. Happy holidays and thank you so much. This was very much appreciated and I loved it. Next up, we have Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan. This was also sent to me from my wish list by Jacob. This is amazing. This is also beautiful. Look at the inside when you open it. Whoa. I'm very excited about reading this because my best friend read it and she's obsessed with them. And there's a third book coming out. Blessed Monsters, I think it's what it's called. But yeah, I have to read this one and the second one so I can catch up before that one comes out. I need another transition. Up next, we have A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I love a good mystery. I was obsessed with them. It's, it's what got me back into reading like last year. Sometime, yeah. Last year, Mysteries was what got me back into reading. So I'm very excited to go back. I haven't read a mystery in a really long time, like almost a year. So I'm very excited to hit the mystery genre again and try to guess. Oh, I read Crescent City. That could be considered a mystery. But anyways, uh, but anyways A Good Girl's Guide to Murder is about a girl who was murdered a couple years ago and everybody blamed her boyfriend her boyfriend killed himself, but now we're opening the case back up and it may turn out that he was not the person who did it. Session. I got the Shadowhunter Codex. 
this is the rule book i guess kind of yeah i think they have to read this to become shadow hunters or something like that i don't remember i haven't read it in a really long time but i know this is not like a story book i think this is more like a textbook a book within the book so yeah i'm very excited another cassandra clare book speaking of cassandra clare i got all the books from the dark catechizes you know this book was this thick this is thick i thought this was thick when it came out like 10 years ago but this one's thick you could like exercise with this book it's a good like one pounder i'm just excited to actually like go back into the like, cassandra clare world because i read like a lot of years ago not 10 but i read all the mortal instruments so i want to go back and read everything so we'll see february coming up the shadow hunters another author i want to binge binge read soon binge read i don't know percy jackson i want to read all percy jackson books because i read up to mark of athena so i read like the first five and then i read uh lost year son of neptune and i stopped at house of hades i did read house of hades but i want to go back i want to finish them all including magnus chase cane chronicles etc etc greek gods and lightning thief illustrated edition it's really pretty i'm going to show you off a little bit we all know who that is we all know who this is actually it's not bad this is really good i want to see it on a bed in percy oh my god camp hot blood in full color i, I could stay watching looking at this for hours so yeah I've got one more. <gasps> Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. This is a new cover that just came out. And I'm very excited to read them. And let me show you off. We have Daughter of Smoke and Bone. This is beautiful. We have Days of Blood and Starlight. And Dreams of Gods and Mon Monsters. And I'm very excited because the first book, it says, Once upon a time, an angel and a devil fell in love. It did not end well. Dun, dun, dun. It's just my kind of book. There's just one more book. I just don't have a physical copy of it because it doesn't come out until April 2021. And that's Crown of Guilted Bones by Jennifer Allen Trout, the third book in the From Blood and Ash series. I pre-ordered it for myself for Christmas. That was my other gift. It was a gift for my dad. I used my dad's card. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Christmas is over. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, comment down below what other videos you want to see. And don't forget to subscribe. Catch you on the flippity flip. Office reference. They're taking it off Netflix in a few days and I'm so bad. But it's okay. I'll survive. I got books. I'll be, I'll be good.